explain what TypeScript is and how it works. TypeScript is a programming language that builds on JavaScript, adding static typing and other features. It compiles to plain JavaScript, enabling type checking and improving code quality. What are the differences between TypeScript and JavaScript? TypeScript adds static typing, supports modules, type annotations, and is suited for large-scale web apps. JavaScript only offers dynamic typing, no module support, and is suited for smaller web applications. How do you create objects in TypeScript? Use object literal notation, constructors, or the object create method. How do you declare a variable in TypeScript? Use the var, let, or const keywords followed by the variable name, a colon, the variable type, the polar sign, and the variable's value. Example, var message, string, quas, hello world. How do you declare a variable in TypeScript? Use the var, let, or const keywords followed by the variable name, a colon, the variable type, the polar sign, and the variable's value. Example, var message, string, quas, hello world. What is an anonymous function in TypeScript? An anonymous function is a function without a name, often used as a function expression or argument to other functions. Example, x, number, y, number, number, y, return, x, plus y, y. Explain what decorators are. Decorators are a special kind of declaration used to add metadata to classes, methods, properties, or parameters. Example, a component class my component. What are mixins in TypeScript? Mixins are a way to combine multiple classes into one, allowing for code reuse and the composition of behaviors. What is a namespace? How do you declare it? A namespace is a container for variables, functions, classes, and interfaces helping organize code. Declare using the namespace keyword, example, namespace, example, namespace, so, Nance. Can you combine multiple .es files into a single .js file? Yes. Use a module bundler like Webpack or a build tool like Gulp to combine and compile multiple TypeScript files into a single JavaScript file. What is a scope variable? A scope variable is a variable that is accessible within a specific part of the code, such as within a function or block, determined by where it is declared. Tell me how to debug a TypeScript file. Use a .js source map file. Compile the .ts file with the source flag to generate a source map and use a debugging tool like Visual Studio Code or Chrome DevTools. What are the steps to include a type definition file in TypeScript? Install the type definition file using npm, reference it in the TypeScript file, and ensure TypeScript knows about it via the tsconfig.json file. What is the default parameters function? Default parameters allow you to specify default values for function parameters. Example, function example, param string, answer default, sarquapwok. Explain what the tsconfig.json file is. The tsconfig.json file is a configuration file for TypeScript projects specifying compiler options, file inclusions, and other settings. When do you use ambient declarations in TypeScript? Use ambient declarations to declare the shape of code that is external to TypeScript, like libraries written in JavaScript. Example, declare module my library. When should you use the unknown type? Use the unknown type when a variable's type is not known, or to enforce type checking before using a value, providing more safety than any. What is the difference between union and intersection types? Union types, A, how do you inherit a class in TypeScript? Use the extends keyword to inherit a class. Example, class child class extends parent class, sumptive. Tell me what compilation context means. Compilation context in TypeScript refers to the set of files and compiler options that determine how TypeScript code is compiled. It is defined by the tsconfig JSON file. What is an enum in TypeScript? An enum is a way to define a set of named constants Example, enum color, red, green, blue. What do you know about the as keyword in TypeScript? The as keyword is used for type assertions, allowing you to override the compiler's type inference. Example, let value, sec, sum value as string. 
How do you compile TypeScript with Visual Studio Code? Ensure TypeScript is installed. Open the .ts file. Create a tsconfig.json file. Open the integrated terminal. Navigate to the directory and run the tsc command to compile. Name some recent advancements in TypeScript. Examples include improvements to the awaited type, better support for promise improvements, optional chaining, nullish coalescing, and enhancements to type inference and checking. Tell me more about the awaited type and promise improvements. The awaited type helps simplify the handling of promises in TypeScript, making it easier to work with asynchronous code by unwrapping promise values. What is type assertion? Give a few examples. Type assertion allows you to tell the compiler the specific type of a value. Examples, let value, none, some value, let value, none, some value as string. What are the rules for declaring rest parameters? Only one rest parameter per function. It must be an array type and it must be placed last in the parameter list. How do you call the base class constructor from a child class in TypeScript? Use the super keyword inside the constructor of the child class. Example, super parameters. Explain how optional chaining works. Optional chaining allows safe access to nested properties and methods without causing errors if they are null or undefined. Example, const result, sha obj, property, method. What is method overriding in TypeScript? Method overriding allows a subclass to provide a specific implementation of a method that is already defined in its superclass using the same method name and parameters. How do you check for null and undefined values in TypeScript? Use strict equality, work just h, or the nullish coalescing operator to check for null and undefined values. Example, if value work task as null. List a few rules of private fields in TypeScript. Private fields start with an Arctis character, are only accessible within the class they are declared in, and cannot be accessed or modified outside the class. How do you make all properties of an interface optional? Use the partial utility type. Example, type partial interface, circus partial. What is the difference between type inference and contextual typing? Type inference determines the type of a variable based on its value. Contextual typing determines the type of an expression based on its context and location in the code. How would you choose between never, unknown, and any in TypeScript? Use never for values that should never occur, unknown for values with unknown types requiring type checking, and any for values that bypass type checking. What features does TypeScript offer to help make reusable components? Features include generics, interfaces, modules, and type aliases, allowing for flexible and reusable code components. Which TypeScript features would be suitable for a full-stack developer? Suitable features include decorators, async, a weight for handling asynchronous operations, generics, modules, and type-safe APIs for back-end and front-end integration. What are generics in TypeScript? Generics allow the creation of reusable components that work with multiple types, providing type safety and flexibility. Example, function identity, arg, t, t, return arg, so. What are arrow lambda functions in TypeScript? Arrow functions are a shorthand for writing functions using the charg syntax. They do not bind their own this value. Example, param, pa return param to clock. What is the difference between a tuple and an array? A tuple is a fixed length ordered list of elements with specified types. An array is a dynamic list of elements which can grow and shrink with elements of the same or mixed types. What is a namespace? How do you declare it? A namespace is a container for variables, functions, classes, and interfaces Declare using the namespace keyword, example, namespace, example, namespace, arts, gag. Tell me how to debug a TypeScript file. Use a .js source map file, compile the .ts file with the source flag to generate a source map, 
and use a debugging tool like Visual Studio Code or Chrome DevTools. What are distributive conditional types? Distributive conditional types apply a conditional check over each member of a union type, enabling relationships between inputs and outputs based on specific conditions. Explain what decorators are in TypeScript. Decorators are a special kind of declaration used to add metadata to classes, methods, properties, or parameters. Example, a component or class my component. What do you know about the as keyword in TypeScript? The as keyword is used for type assertions, allowing you to override the compiler's type inference. Example, let value uh, some value as string. Explain the concept of time to live TTL indexes in MongoDB. TTL indexes allow you to automatically remove documents from a collection after a specified period, useful for managing data with a limited lifespan such as session logs or cached data. Describe the process of performing a point-in-time recovery in MongoDB. Point-in-time recovery involves restoring a MongoDB database to a specific state at a previous time using regular backups and the op-log to replay changes up to the desired point in time. What is the purpose of the MongoDB connector for BI? The MongoDB connector for BI allows BI tools like Tableau and Power BI to connect to MongoDB databases, enabling data analytics, report generation, and data visualization using familiar BI tools. How do you implement role-based access control, RBAC, in MongoDB? Implement RBAC by defining user roles and privileges, creating custom roles with specific permissions, and assigning these roles to users or applications to ensure secure access control.